All right, check one, two, three. Hopefully this microphone is working. I'm sure I can just edit this part out. Oh, somebody's here. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get started. We're gonna do a little griddle fried rice live. Hopefully I got the microphone settings. Let's double check those to make sure. Oh, there's six people. Can someone tell me? Hey, Bobby, can you hear me okay? Hey, Alpesh. Somebody let me know if they can hear okay or everything. Or if it's, uh... hey, Janet, how's it going? Pour myself some hot tea while we wait and make sure, uh, apologize if the cars are kind of loud. Yeah, we can hear you. Okay, great. I'm trying to work out the microphone on my shirt rather than just, uh, just do the microphone on the camera. Everything looks so good. It's not blurry or anything. Good. All right. So we're going to do, um, a jalapeno fried rice on the griddle while I drink hot tea because it's like 28 degrees here. <laughs> oh, notifications about, thank you. Thank you. All right, let's see here. Um, so yeah, first thing we're gonna do is I'll put some oil down um, and then we'll spread it around. Hey David, now snow's coming tomorrow. You from uh, Cleveland already got it? Yeah, snow is supposedly coming tomorrow to Columbus. That's why we're doing it. Well, I, th I thought about doing it tomorrow. I was like, it'd be cool to do it in the snow, but then I thought it'd be a mess. And then I have to go inside when I forget stuff. And then my wife gets mad when I track snow and mud in the house. So um, that's why I did it today. So I'm putting a fair amount of oil down. We're going to see where our griddle's at here, everybody. 365. That's a little lower. I was going pretty high. So I'm going to turn this to medium. I got, I started with all the burners on and then I turned the right burner all the way up there where my uh, hot tea is off. Um, and that's just where I'm holding my hot tea since it's so cold. Kind of want to get a good a little sear on this chicken. So we're still at 350, 358, 372. There we go. Okay. So we'll put the chicken down just to get it started so we're not here all day. And then we'll go over the uh, rest of the ingredients. So this is a pound of chicken thighs that I got right there. And I had it in the fridge. That's why it's lumped up. It's actually diced out. So got some oil on the griddle. So I'm going to start with oil. And then I think after the chicken goes on the griddle and, and creates kind of a nice little crust, then we'll cook the rice in there. And I'm going to start using butter at that point because I want to do the rice and everything else with butter. When I did my one fried rice, the butter turned out real well. So oil initially, then hopefully too, when the butter goes down, it doesn't burn because I just turned it up. I'm just going to spread everything out, make sure everybody's got plenty of room to start to get some color on it, hopefully. And then we shall take a look at all the ingredients. I hope everybody's having a wonderful Saturday. I appreciate everybody stopping by. Hey Bruno, how's it going? Leprechaun TV, how's it going? John, I'm trying to keep up. If I missed anybody, I apologize. I'll go back and say hello to everybody in the comments if I miss. Um, yeah, I just figured we'd do something live today, a little different. My uh, my parents took our one-year-old son to watch him today, so we had some free time. So we cleaned the basement and then I told my wife I wanted to griddle live. That's how you know you're old when you get a free day without your kid. You're like, man, I just want to clean the basement and griddle. What? <laughs> what, the, what is going on? All right, so I'm going to try to lift this up. Oh, we got all of our chicken down. Take a look at the ingredients. So over here we got um, some green onions. I separated them into the white parts and the green parts. I saw somebody else do that. So I'm going to put the white parts down with the peas and carrots and use these more as a garnish. Jalapenos. Um, sesame oil, soy sauce, garlic, more jalapenos. Those are actually gonna go on right now. Let's, these ones are mainly just for show. So we're gonna put these down right like this. 
in the front. So those are just to get some color, honestly, for the final thumbnail. Got my eggs right there. One cup of cooked rice. I'm not doing a ton this time, so it's not like a lot. And then I'm doing this because I actually got sent these for free. So I finally made it, guys. I got free sauce. So I'm at the top of the YouTube food chain now. But no. <laughs> but uh, seriously, though, it's very nice of them to send these sauces. It's Fly by Jing. Uh, or Fly by Jen. She goes by Jen now. Um, I hope I'm not mispronouncing their product. But it was like a chili crisp, which is pretty spicy. Uh, Zong sauce, which um, is sweet and savory. And then this is their spice mix, which I have over here. And I'm going to put on the rice as well. So, um, yeah. Then, so we're going to do this on the rice. And I'm going to top it with the chili crisp. Oops, sorry. My wind was blowing away my empty container. So, yeah. that's uh, And this can be jalapeno. So this thing's going to have some kick to it. It's got jalapenos. It's going to have the chili crisp in it. It's going to be a uh, a spicy little fried rice. Yeah. Oh, you've used it before, Alpash? That's cool. Yeah. They just uh, sent it to me, and, and I never got around to making a video, so I felt bad. It was like a month ago, and so I was like, man, I need to make this video. Oh, I had my tongs out here, and I lost them. There they are. So I figured, why not today? It's as good as any other day. Trying to get some color on the chicken here. No, not where I want it quite yet. Let's see again where we're at temp-wise. It's like barely 28 degrees outside, so I'm sure the griddle needs to kind of stay pretty high to 297 now that everything's down. 320 over there. 330. Yeah, I'm going to move everything back to medium, a little above medium, so we can get the chicken going nice and well. Forgot to get the onion. No onion volcano today. I just did that in the other video that I just released, but none today, unfortunately. So let's go ahead and see what we're looking at here. Yeah, these are just chicken thighs, not chicken breast. I feel like they're a little juicier and they're cheaper, so. Still not quite, there we go. Some of these ones up here are looking good. Ooh, that one got a nice color to it. Yeah, hope everybody's having a good Saturday today. Hopefully it's not 28 degrees in whatever part of the country you are in, or whatever part of the world. Maybe there's people in Canada too. Maybe people in Canada. All sorts of people out there watching, which I always appreciate. There we go. So the chicken I just did with a little bit of salt and pepper, garlic, nothing crazy. You can just see it. Oh, get that in focus. So nothing going too wild with the chicken on here. Uh, really all the flavor is going to come from the soy sauce and the sesame oil and then yep and then uh the uh chili sauce at the end okay might turn my right burner back on here it's already smelling good i can tell you that these up here all right got all the chicken flip let's take a look at the chicken and we'll fly by ourselves with the chicken here Vancouver Island, Houston, Texas. What? Oh, I forgot. Go Bills. Uh, I'm not going to lie, guys. I know I live in Ohio, but uh, and I do love the Browns. But also, my dad's family is from Boston, so I'm also a Patriots fan. So 
we will have to see how tonight goes. I can tell you one thing, it's colder in Buffalo than it is here. Sorry, I'm just trying to get a little closer. It is cold in Buffalo. It said, I think my buddy's a Bills fan. He said zero degrees at kickoff. It's all right. Patriots just going to run the ball anyways. Okay, I'm not going to talk about football the whole time. I know everybody came here not to hear me talk about football. So, anyways, there's the jalapenos. Flip them over. We're going to get those on both sides. Okay, and then I'm going to make room in the middle for the rice and just move all the chicken over. Let it keep cooking. The jalapenos up here. So then all these bits and stuff right here, that my plan here is just so it doesn't burn, we'll hit a little more oil. Then I got a bunch of pads of butter. A pad of butter down. The white parts of the green onion are gonna go down. Okay, and then we'll kind of get that butter mixed up in there. And then I just, I'm just using frozen peas and carrots. I didn't really want to do anything. Cutting vegetables, so we'll use some peas and carrots, which are still frozen, plenty frozen, that's for sure. I got three pads of butter, so we're really gonna be doing this butter up. Right on top, get these little bits of where the chicken was sticking, uh, where the crust from the chicken was, get those up and hopefully really get that flavor in there. Oh man, I just realized I didn't bring a tasting spoon. I was gonna try to taste it. I'm not used to tasting. I don't really, that's like, like part of my videos. But I was going to try to do that since we are going live today. All right. Those are all looking good. Then the garlic, I didn't really want to burn the garlic, so we'll put that down last. Everything's smelling good, man. Garlic, butter, peas, carrots. We are all on a roll. Okay, so, almost forgot. Gotta keep these separate so I got more diced jalapenos with the seeds. So these ones are probably gonna get a little spicy. We'll keep those at the front so I can just put those on my portion. My wife is not a fan, so that's okay. This is another next week recipe for the diet. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. The diet's still up in there, guys. Um, you know, things are just too busy right now. Football season isn't even over. I can't even start it. I mean, there's playoff football on. What am I supposed to be doing? Starting a diet? It's crazy talk right there. We'll see come springtime. We'll go on vacation. Got to get in a bathing suit. Then maybe we'll start the diet. Ah, so we're getting a little color on the jalapeno. All right. Chicken's over there, veggies are over there. Again, just a tad bit of oil. Again, with the butter. I'll take this butter around, make room for the rice. And save the last butter for the bring you guys over here to get a different view guys and gals look at that butter just looking good okay rice is jasmine rice I pretty much always use jasmine rice Pretty much always use this jasmine rice from Aldi because I got like a 10 pound bag I can't get rid of. Even though I use it all the time, it just never seems to go away. Got that sweet Aldi deal. I probably paid like a buck fifty. Who knows? Aldi's like basically giving food away. I am a fan of Aldi. And I tried to spray this down. 
Yeah, it did okay. Okay, it's okay if we lose a little bit. It's only a little. All right. All right, so now we got our rice down there. Just gonna kind of let that fry up right on the griddle. I'm still on medium, but you know, y'all gotta use the infrared thermometer. I'm sure it's dropped significantly now since I have so much stuff on the griddle. Oh, it's still around 400, good. Good. Oil first, butter on top. Oh, thank you. I forget, I think I was watching a Benny Hanna video when they did that. <laughs> this is not, not Johnny knows this stuff. I just, okay. So now this is their um, spice that I'm gonna try, the mala spice, uh, which you know they got listed as kind of like a savory, spicy, numbing. It smells like there's some sort of like cumin for sure in there. Uh, there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of lot of flavor in this spice, so definitely something different. Definitely stepping outside the box. And then I'm still going to do the traditional soy sauce. This is about a tablespoon of soy sauce. And I'm going to bring the vegetables over. Oh, forgot my other spatula. But I've said before, you're not even griddling if you don't have two spatulas, man. Like, what's even going on, you know? And then you're just outside playing around. you got to really get this thing rolling. That's why we bought the griddle. Just to pretend like I knew what I was doing. <laughs> yeah, so I start with a tablespoon of soy sauce and then go from there based off of what color it gets and if it all looks like I want it to. Because, you know, it depends on, everybody's got a different level of salt. It just starts adding so much salt, in my opinion. So, um, they can always add more if you want a darker, browner or fried rice. You know, your, whoever you're serving it to can, or you can add more, whatever makes you happy, you know. Okay. And you know, I've still got some spots that are missing. I got a little left. So we're gonna hit it up with a little more of the soy sauce just to really get it. Okay. And then this is what I did, I think it was with the shrimp fried rice, shrimp and pineapple, the pineapple fried rice. I feel like I keep changing my fried rice technique around. And I'm always open for suggestions, I'm certainly, I have no idea. I'm not like an expert or anything. But I made the well and did the eggs last time. I used to always do the eggs at the beginning. Ooh, look at this jalapeno. I used to always do the eggs at the beginning. Oh yeah, chicken's starting to look good. And then, um, I don't know, I just had nowhere to put them and they kept cooking. And it was like, well, what am I supposed to do with that? So, here's a little oil. Hit up a little butter. I just make the little well. Oh, come on. It is cold out here. That butter was not cooperating. And then also since the rice was here, like it's already lowered the temp on this part of the griddle. So it's like the eggs don't seem to, I guess like overcook real quick. I just hate when they get brown. I mean, it happens, but I hate when they get like too brown and they're like burnt and stuff. So kind of do that and then I don't have to worry about them running everywhere and here they go I always do eggs last just don't tell Uncle Roger yeah I know and someone was like you should send your fried rice video to Uncle Roger I was like why so he can cry for a day and feel bad about myself <laughs> it all depends on what you want yeah yeah I mean it's a it's like everything else in right Everybody got, he's got their opinion, but I mean, he's like doing a bit like, so, I mean, he's, he's funny. He is, he's clearly doing like a comedy bit and it's, he's very good at it. So, oh, these jalapenos in the front are looking good. All right. So now pull the eggs a little bit and yeah, they're just kind of like slowly cooking. 
normally mix the chicken in, but I also think I'm going to leave the chicken so I can like pile it up. Honestly, some of this stuff is just for the thumbnail photos, guys. <laughs> I'm just trying to make stuff look good. But I'll probably just leave the chicken on the side and then pile it up and put the jalapenos on one side. So we can get like a finishing shot here. But the eggs look good. They're pretty much done. They're just going to keep cooking. Okay, looking good. And then I'm gonna cut off all the heat because I'm pretty much done except for the finishing touches. I always do sesame oil last. Uh, and then uh, I just like to uh, kind of uh, use it as a finisher and then I'll do the green onions last as well too. You got like 20 seconds. <laughs> I use like twenty dollars worth of electric griddle from Walmart. So, yeah, this is a four burner. But uh, the sesame oil I always do last, just to kind of give it that like finishing fried rice touch. And I really like that. Some people use fish sauce. I'm just not a fan of fish sauce, so that's why I don't. But some people really like it. There ain't nothing wrong with that. It's definitely got its own little little thing to it. Okay. Can we get the heart is the million dollar question, folks. You don't use two spatulas and you don't at least try to make a heart. And you're really not even out here griddling. Jalapenos up on this side. Jalapenos up on this side. Okay. Stick it in there. Oh, we're going to move my coffee cup here too. Okay. Green onions on top. And then our chili crisp is coming home to bring 28 people. I think this is the most people I've ever seen watch one of my live cooks, which I haven't done for a while, but that's good. I appreciate everybody stopping by. Thank you so much for checking this out. And then this is the Fly by Zen Chili Crisp. And then it's really got like the seasonings and the crisps in the bottom there. Look at that. And it's got a little kick to it. I tried it on just like a fried egg. And it was good. Look at that. All right, we're going to do a little bit of that on top now as well. All right. Let's do this. Go ahead. Sorry. Sometimes I forget to talk because I'm used to just not having anybody here. So well, there we go, we got the chili crisp, the heart, oh yeah, that is, there we go, vinegar, I need to put vinegar on there, alright, let's see here. Sorry, everybody. I was trying to turn the camera around. Okay. I was trying to turn the camera around. Thank you all so much, so much for coming out and for watching. Take a look at the fried rice again. We'll give her the old final taste test here. i get a piece of chicken. Sorry. Whole new to this thing. All right. If anybody cared.
I can see where the vinegar would help. It has a lot of flavor. It is spicy. Or maybe my nose is running because it's like 25 uh, degrees out here in Ohio. But yeah, it is, um, wow. I hadn't done our fried rice. That is a lot of flavor. That is very good. Very spicy. Rice vinegar or some Marin is great. Oops, now it's going too fast. How long did I cook the rice? On the griddle, I cooked it for like, I don't know, probably 15 minutes of this. But um, yeah, I mean, you could have made, had it sit longer. All right, let's see. All right, this one we're gonna do. Uh, hold up. <coughs> oh God. <clears throat> oh, one of the chilies got me, guys. <laughs> yeah, with a jalapeno. Mm. Very good point, Bobby. I did just dip that spoon in the chili, so maybe that was uh, maybe that one's on me. <laughs> um, yeah. So they sent me the chili crisp. I'll put a link in the description if you put in my name, Johnny. I think you can get like ten or fifteen percent off, um, and uh, off their website. And it's very very good, and I appreciate them sending it all to me. And I'm new to all the Blackstone cooking. My fiance bought me one. Oh, congratulations, Aaron. Yeah. So. I really appreciate everybody coming out and watching the live stream. Um, get back on the club. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much. I'll take one last look here. I could definitely use some more fried rice tips, Alpesh, but at the fried rice, looks fantastic. Thank you all so much for coming out. Um, I appreciate it. Have a good one and keep on griddling, everybody.